Innovative Foods is a producer of frozen entree meals for a very competitive North American market. So what we wanted to do was put in place procedures and changes to our manufacturing process that would keep us uh, at pace with our competitors and hopefully uh, build our business. Well, we're a packer of uh, creamer potatoes in Canada and uh, the process is, is uh, it's pretty extensive and it's fairly labor intensive and, uh, and so we wanted to look for ways to become a little bit more productive and a little bit more consistent in what we do. So uh, it seemed the natural way to go was to, uh, was to start looking at some automation in our process and redeploying some of those people in, in other areas in the, in the, in the plant uh, where automation wouldn't be so critical. Okay, so with, with lean manufacturing, we, uh, we looked at the fact that a lot of stuff is, is implicit. Small companies, often the business owner is the person that's hands-on and doesn't understand how to transition from the small to the medium and actually get that one step back. And we uh, use the opportunity of lean to sort of help implement and review some of the processes and try to document and, and develop guidelines and make it so it was, uh, sort of we could take one step back and look at our company rather than being hands-on with the company, but actually get to a point where we actually get to see the company. Um, we liked the process uh, that was offered to us because the consultant that we brought in was very familiar with the food processing industry. He was an engineer with many years experience so he was very quick to understand what we could do and couldn't do uh, because food safety and employee safety is paramount here. Uh, but it also gave us the opportunity to have a second set of eyes come in unfamiliar with the, the intimacies of our process and really challenge us on why we did things uh, in a certain manner. It was, uh, it was great. We were, we were descended upon by, by, by consultants and, uh, and, uh, and some government folks who, who sponsored the whole program. Uh, they came in, they did a very, very detailed analysis of, of what we are, what we do, our, our current capacity, where we wanted to go in the future, and, uh, and, and really took the time to understand um, the, the nuances of our processes. Um, they, uh, they asked all kinds of questions, not just from top level uh, leadership, but also middle management and right down to the people who actually do the work, which was fantastic. And, uh, and it took about four weeks and, and, and they came back and gave us a presentation based on what they thought we could do as far as automation and, uh, and, and what the payback would be uh, over a certain, uh, certain amount of time. And it was very, very well laid out for us. It became very clear. Some of the hurdles and challenges that we've had with the process was obviously with change. Anytime there is change, people are sort of, they put up walls to it. They sometimes look at change as, as something that's going to dramatically affect them. So one of the hurdles or the biggest hurdle we always found is that when you ask people to change, there's a difficulty associated with it. One of the challenges was as soon as you mentioned, mentioned lean manufacturing, people obviously jump to the conclusion or jump to the idea that potentially it means lean and mean, and, and, and it doesn't really. It means looking at processes and trying to make it as effective as possible, and reviewing the processes and trying to use people in the most effective ways. So we sort of avoided using the, the coining the phrase of lean because people often jump to a conclusion on it. As with any business, one of the biggest hurdles is staying within a budget. Our, we have a fixed capital budget being a small company, and we just had to make sure we worked within that. I would say that the biggest challenge was, uh, would be getting all the information out that we needed to to the consultants so that they could accurately do the assessment. Things that you don't normally always look at, like the, the amount of electricity used per machine in your building, uh, water and drainage issues, um, very specific things about labor per, uh, per, per job function, which is, which is to a to depth that we didn't really ever go before. But in doing so, we learned a lot about ourselves uh, prior to the assessment even being completed. Um, some of the main benefits that we've realized through lean coaching and uh, implementing some of the philosophies of lean manufacturing was we were able to develop some guidelines and, it, and an example would be that we developed some concise guidelines around accounts receivable and collections. The other thing is that we've developed, we've developed some guidelines that are useful for when we're training new employees. They have something to go 
they have a benchmark, they have a measurement, they have, they have something that they can use as almost a manual to move forward from. A lean coach is a big advantage based on the fact that uh, he makes it important and a priority that you uh, meet with him once a week and you don't uh, fall behind in some of the time frames that you've set for yourselves. The biggest benefits that we've, we've had is streamlining the process, being able to take uh, valuable labor out of some mundane jobs and put them into more skilled positions. Uh, also the, the opportunities that we presented w would reduce the waste uh, in, in two areas in particular. So we have less finished meal damage and less waste of, of the in-process materials. I think uh, one of the major benefits right off the bat was just realizing what was possible within automation. And we tend to think that uh, nobody can do what we do as good as humans can, human eyes and human hands, but that the technology is out there that would allow a lot of the processes to be taken away off, uh, off of the human plate so we can redeploy those minds, uh, those minds and those hands and those hearts where, uh, where they can better be utilized to, to, uh, to grow our business and, and in fact grow themselves. Another benefit that uh, came as a result of the process is uh, the fact that we were able to try to step, take a step back. Often with managers and owners you're always hands-on and as a result of being hands-on you don't have a chance to actually truly see your business. Um, we're hoping that by reducing scrap we'll be able to utilize that material and put it into some, some finished cases that will ultimately give us uh, additional capacity. I'd say the experience was extremely positive. Uh, the people that we worked with were, were excellent, knowledgeable. Uh, we, we developed great contacts that, that I use today uh, even outside of the, the whole automation project. Uh, people that I can pick up the phone and call and ask some very uh, specific questions to regarding uh, engineering and and other projects that I want to I want to be involved in I would encourage anybody who's on the on the verge of automation in any way to uh, to take advantage of the program as best they can uh, even if they don't take it forward right away it will certainly set them up strategically for uh, for this type of thing in the near future so I would highly encourage it